Jews and Haitians with the most vile and vulgar language. That language festers. When ignorance and bigotry is allied with power, it is a dangerous force in our country. Your silence and your amnesia is complicity. Right now in our nation, we have a problem. I don't know if 73% of your time is spent on white supremacist hate groups. I don't know if 73% of your time is spent concerned about the people in fear in communities in this country, Sikh Americans, Muslim Americans, black Americans. The fact pattern is clear of the threats in this country. I hurt. When Dick Durbin called me, I had tears of rage when I heard about this experience in that meeting. And for you not to feel that hurt and that pain and to dismiss some of the questions of my colleagues, saying I've already answered that line of questions when tens of millions of Americans are hurting right now because of what they're worried about what happened in the White House. That's unacceptable to me. There are threats in this country. People plotting. I receive enough death threats to know the reality. Kamala receives enough death threats to know the reality. Maisie receives enough death threats to know the reality. And I've got a president of the United States whose office I respect, who talks about the countries of origins of my fellow citizens in the most despicable of manner. You don't remember. You can't remember the words of your commander in chief. I find that unacceptable. Mr. Chairman, I'm grateful to be on this committee. I'm more than ever today happy I am here. Thank you. Thank you. Senator Graham. Sir, could I just respond, if you yeah. don't mind, after no. that? No. I would just like to say wait, that... Wait, uh, wait, Senator Graham. Go ahead and respond. Would, would that be okay? Yeah. yeah. I would just like to say I, I do clearly, and I want to be clear on this, abhor violence in all of its forms. I couldn't agree with you more that the Department of Homeland Security has a duty to stop and prevent violence in all of its forms. Our preventing terrorism programs have been reassessed and relooked at just this year to ensure that we actually are going after the threats to include white supremacy, not just to focus on what was focused on in years past. So just, just to, I would just like to say that to you. I share your passion. It's unacceptable. It can't be tolerated in the United States. Under the authorities that I have at the Department of Homeland Security, violence in any form will not be tolerated. Senator Graham. 